Right, the current performance of the ringgit reflects the strength of the nation's economic fundamentals. Economy Minister Rafi Ziramli said while Malaysia is not completely insulated from external factors stemming from global developments, the past 22 months have shown that bolstering economic fundamentals has played a crucial role in driving this growth. If we um, stay on course in terms of doing the right thing, no matter how difficult it is, no matter how we are criticised, um, and if we focus on our products and strength so that it becomes a competitive edge that lure people to come to us, then we should be able to navigate whatever you know, um, unplanned externalities coming. Speaking to the media after the 13th Malaysia Plan engagement session with the Selangor State Government in Shah Alam on Wednesday, Rafizi emphasised the need for everyone to focus their efforts on capitalising on the ringgit's performance. He expressed optimism that Malaysia can achieve high-income nation status within the RMK13 framework with sustained focus. In his speech, Rafizi noted that the ringgit has been recognised as the best performing currency globally over the past three months, strengthening by 11% and outpacing other currencies worldwide. Meanwhile, Rafizi said the RMK13 will ensure that the responsibility for narrowing the socio-economic gap and promoting development across states and regions is a collective effort, rather than resting solely on the federal government. Ialah, um, dalam RMK 13 ini supaya beban itu ditanggung bersama uh, dan kita tumpu kepada walaupun ada negeri yang di bawah kerajaan perpaduan ada negeri yang pembangkang kita nak supaya kalau nak bersaing jangan bersaing secara politik yang polemik bersaing dari segi um, kreativiti dan prestasi masing-masing untuk uh, menggalakkan ekonomi dan juga uh, menaik taraf sosioekonomi rakyat masing-masing. The engagement process starting Tuesday will continue until the end of the year. The RMK13 document is expected to be finalized by April next year, followed by a two-month period for cabinet approval, with the presentation in parliament set for July of the same year.